Welcome to Mastering Solutions. This is another impulse and momentum problem that we'll be discussing. And I find it really helpful for this problem to draw a picture first so you can visualize what's going on. They say that they're throwing a soccer ball at this force plate and it comes over here. It's going in the negative X direction. So the initial velocity is going to be negative. It bounces off. And so when it bounces off, we'll have a positive velocity. And of course, in between, it hits the force plate and measures some force vector. And of course, we're trying to solve for the final velocity as it bounces off the plate. So let's go through and list our variables. So we know that the mass of the soccer ball is equal to 0 0.43 kilograms. The initial velocity is equal to a negative 16 meters per second. The final velocity, we don't know. So now let's talk about how to do that. We're going to be using impulse and one way to measure impulse is, of course, the area under a curve. And so here, J is equal to this area, which in this case, we have a triangle and we're trying to find this area right there, which is going to be one half times the base times the height. So the base in this instance is time, our delta T which is equal to seven milliseconds or seven times 10 to the negative three seconds. The height in this case is a force or newtons, which is 2,500 newtons. And if we look at the units here, we have a newton times the second or an impulse. Another way to, to write impulse is kilograms times meters per second. A newton is kilograms times meters per second squared times seconds, so the seconds cancel out, and we're left with kilograms times meters per second. So when we calculate this out here, we have one half times seven times 10 to the negative three seconds times 2,500 newtons. And that gives us 8.75, 8.75 Newton seconds, or as we just discussed, kilograms times meters per second. So we now have our J come up here. So J is equal to change in momentum, which is P final minus P initial. If we simplify that further, P P is mass times velocity, so mv final minus mv initial. We want to solve for the final velocity, so let's factor out the mass. So mass times final velocity minus final initial, uh, initial velocity. And we're going to divide both sides of the equation by m. So V final minus V initial is equal to J over M. Now we add both sides of the equation, uh, V initial. So the final velocity is equal to the impulse divided by the mass plus the initial velocity. And now all we have to do is just plug in our numbers. So V final is equal to our impulse, which we said was 8.75 kilograms times meters per second. We're going to divide that by the mass, which is 0 0.43 kilograms. So the kilograms will cancel out and we add the initial velocity, which is a negative 16 meters per second. All of the units we have left are meters per second plus meters per second. So we have the correct units coming out of the equation. And now all we have to do is plug this into our calculator. So 8.75 divided by 0.43. And then add a negative 16 which gives us 
a final velocity of 4.3 meters per second for the soccer ball.